Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Yeah, looking at something different again. The other day I did a video on a multi-tool that I found that was a little different. So I thought I'd go back and look again and see what I could find. And I actually found something. It's a little different. From American Buffalo Knife and Tool Company. It's a ranch hand multi-tool. Hey, let's check it out. So what I'm talking about is this guy here, and it says American Buffalo Knife and Tool Company. It's actually the Cattleman's Cutlery product, and like I said, it's a ranch hand multi-tool. So hi to Mary. She's early this time for a change. A little unusual. It looks good. Looks well made. Got some weight to it. Looks sturdy. And it's got a couple of unusual tools that you don't normally see on a multi-tool. The unusual thing about this is they say it's made from cast stainless steel. Now they say it's a multi-tool and it's made for ranch hands. But I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if this would work for me at work. as something I could carry in my pocket that has a lot of tools that I would use. I think there's four different kinds here. So let's have a look at that. But before we do that, let me show you what it looks like. On here, it's you can see on both sides, actually, it says tool stainless. Now, the interesting thing about that is they say it's lightweight. Well, as sturdy as this thing looks and as heavy as it looks, it's not actually that heavy. So I can see what they're saying. The first things I noticed is you have an adjustable wrench, not something you see normally see on a multi-tool. And then it does have pliers and a couple of other things on it. There's not a lot of tools on it. I think there's four different kinds. When you look at it, it does have a blade. It does have a uh, an adjustable wrench and it has pliers. And I assume cutters, but I'm not sure. And then it has some screwdriver bits. And if you look there, they're inside that hole. Interesting design. Whoever thought this up, you know, was was no fool. It's unusual to say the least. And here you can see, I'm going to open and close the adjustable wrench here so you can see it. Now here's your adjustment here. And I'm just using my thumb on the back. And you can see it opens. And it'll close. And on the other side, you have your wrench. Now, when I looked at this, I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. I'll just pull it out. Here's the handle here. You can see it there. Well, I, I couldn't get it out. And I was like, oh, well, they actually have a lock on it. And here it is here. And it's it's a stiff lock, the first thing, because I looked at this and I thought that must be it. And I couldn't move it until I put a lot of pressure on it. You can see it there. This guy here. And I'm going to... Did you hear that? It popped out. You see it's in the down position now. If I pull it up, it's up and then down. When I'm down, the handle releases. You see that? Now I have pliers. Now they are spring assisted. If I let the handle go, it pops up. You see that? So they're open all the time. You have to close it on and it adjusts that way. If you look inside, right here, I think those are wire cutters. See that? Uh, nice design. And then, of course, when you're not using it, you close it and lock it back in, pushing that up. Now it's locked back and you can use your wrench. Then I was looking at it and I was like, OK, uh, pretty cool. And I was looking at the bits here. Now, this is where I think they fall a little short. Getting those bits out is not easy. If you look, they're in there like that. They push into those slots there. You see them? You've got to push them out. So you've got to get your thumb in there and push down. You see it pops out there and then pull it out. And you go, well, where do you put it? Well, see on the front there? It actually has a magnet in there as well. Can you see that? See the magnet in there, the shiny piece. 
So when you put the piece in, like this, you will hear it click in. Hear it? So it's not going to fall out, which is a good thing. The problem that I'm seeing is that's how much depth you have to use it. So if you have a, a screw that's in a hole, you have a limited depth to work with. Other than that, I don't see a problem. It's They sit in there pretty well. The, screw, the heads they have, here you have a Phillips head. The other one is a small flat head, is a large flat head. See that there in the mirror. And they all fit in those holes there. Interesting. I'm going to put them back in before I lose them. <laughs> uh, how they fit in there, I'm not sure. They are a tight fit. And I suspect they do that so that you're not going to lose them. Unless they have some sort of ma magnet in there. Oh, no, they don't. It looks like it has. There's actually, I want to say, a spring wire in there which pushes against it when you push it in. When you slide it in, there's some tension against them. They're not going to fall out. Now, you can push them all the way in, and they sit in there just like that. I thought it was pretty cool. Now, the other thing that they have, obviously, there is a, a pocket clip here, so go in your pocket. I wouldn't put it on your belt. Um, it would be nice if they had... A, a leather sheath. You could probably find one that it would fit in. Now, if you're wondering about the knife, the knife blade is here. You see that? It's got a thumb stud on it. And I'm going to pull it up. There it is there. And it comes around. Now, it doesn't lock in. So it's just in there. It does have a, a, a back spring on it. So it, it will clip in, but it's not really that hard you'd have to be careful. One thing I noticed is that, interesting in the design, look where my thumb sits when I'm holding the knife. You see this piece coming up here? It actually feels pretty comfortable when you're using the knife. Not bad. So what we have here is you have a knife, you have an adjustable, sorry, an adjustable wrench, pliers, cutters, and a set of uh, screwdriver heads. Now, I showed you the hole that it goes in there. And looking here, I see another hole here. And I'm not sure if one of those screwdriver heads will fit in. Let's give it a try. I'll try the, the big guy and see if it'll go in there. You see the hole there? Huh. It fits. Well, look at that. Is it magnet? Uh, you see, it doesn't have a magnet on it. But I'm sure it would work. I mean, you can put it in there. And then you have a lot more torque when you're turning here. You've got the whole tool to give you the torque to get a screw off. Which I, I, I think is a good idea. Because sometimes, you know, well, a lot of times for me, that's the way my, my life rolls is that there'll be a screw that I need to get out and it's in there a little tight, maybe a little rusty or it's been in there a while. And, uh, you know, that you can't get it, can't get it out. And you need to put a bit of juice on it to get it to work. Back to the blade here. Now you can see the blade. I'll show you there. There it is there. And it's... It's not that thick a blade. It's a pretty small blade. Um, it would have been nice if they'd come out with maybe a little bit bigger blade. How they, they would have to have increased the size of the tool. It's not a very big, strong blade. But hey, for everyday use, the way I would use it's you know, open a box, cut a, cut a piece of string or something like that. Very light work, but it would work. Is it sharp? You that pick. Feel sharp. The, I can tell you the grind on it's fairly even, except up the top here, it's, it, uh, it gets a little small there. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it's not bad. Look at that. Not too bad. 
can't complain about that. So there you have it there. An unusual multi-tool. We'll open everything up. See how cool it looks. <laughs> and there you have it there. Interesting, isn't it? Interesting design. Why they say it's a cowboy or a ranch hand multi-tool? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because it's from, you know, American Buffalo Knife and Tool. Um, you know, we cater towards that type of job. I would carry this in my pocket. Normally, I carry an adjustable wrench and a multi-headed screwdriver in my pocket all the time when I'm at work. And I find that, you know, a lot of the times it'll do what I need, you know, that covers a lot of stuff that I deal with. And obviously, I carry uh, a knife on my belt. I, I carry actually an opener, number eight. Uh, on my belt and I find that that works and I'm looking at this that's about everything there in one tool <laughs> including pliers this on your belt with a an EDC knife work knife you know a good solid sod buster or something like that you know they're handy to have in your pocket personally I think you know when I think of a ranch hand he's dealing with fencing I would think that you know, they would have some sort of fencing tool that you could use. I mean, I've seen the fencing, the big fencing tools. It looks like a, a giant set of uh, pliers with a, like a hammer head on it, and it can cut some heavy duty wire. The front of the pliers have a hole in there so you can twist wire to tension up the fence and that sort of thing. But this is a little smaller. Maybe this and that, they carry on them, and that works for them. I like this idea. Well thought out. And like I said, they say using cast stainless steel. I'm not sure what that means. I'm, I've, I've never really heard of that. I didn't know that you cast stainless steel, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But I thought this was pretty cool. And, you know, for me, I was out looking for something different. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of stuff out there that is different. You know, I like, like the ideas. I'd, I'd like to see this in a leather pouch. I wonder if they have that. I'll, I'll have to go to their website and, and have a look, which is, of course, American Buffalo Knife and Tool. I've looked at their knives. I've looked at a couple of their knives. They actually have a couple of different uh, trade names. You know, like this one uh, comes under the uh, is Cattleman's Cutlery. I don't know if it's a trade or a, a series, because looking at the box here, it says nothing about Cattleman. It just says American Buffalo Knife and Tool. So I suspect it's a, it's a series of tools that they have for cattlemen. Not bad. I kind of like it. I think it's pretty cool. Is it better than the last one? I don't know. I need to look at them together and decide. Hold on. Let me grab it. I'm talking about this one here that we looked at uh, a week or two ago. It's made by a company whose name I can't pronounce. And they said it was titanium and it wasn't which was kind of disappointing, but I think it was more of a getting around an expense. So here's the multi-tool they had, and it has this adjustable wrench here, which will give you the different sizes, just a different way of looking at an adjustable wrench. Obviously, the size of the nut. Now, one thing it will do is probably handle a nut big, oh, maybe not, not that much, wow. Didn't really realize that. But you can see here, here are the two multi-tools. There they are there. This is a lot smaller. And you have this one. Now, for me, the big advantage on this one are the, the heads. The heads they give you here are on this tool here, and they're tiny, not very good. But I like the idea, and of course the blade was probably their weakest thing. Not very good. When you compare that blade, although I think this blade is not that great either, there's quite a difference. So you have that one. But it, it, it's different. This is different. You know, people are coming out with different ideas on multi-tools. It's nice to see something other than the traditional multi-tool that we're all used to, you know, by Gober and all them guys. This is a little different. For everybody, probably not.
But if you're somebody who, who's in a workshop in a work situation where you get your hands dirty, <laughs> you know, in maintenance or something like that, this could be very handy. But I think a pouch, if they have a pouch, and I'll look that up, and I'll I, if I find one, I'll, I'll in fact, I'll put a comment below if I find one with a link to the pouch. But I suspect no. You could probably find a pouch, not necessarily from them, that'll fit this size. Let's have a look at some of the dimensions. And I just, the length, four and seven eighths inches uh, from that end to that end. The width is the thickest part here, the widest part the depth, one and a half inches. Uh, how big this opens up to, I'm not sure. Uh, I can give you a, a rough estimate here. Uh, you can bring this the whole way out. I'm not sure if I like that. They should have locked that in somehow. Um, it, I unscrewed it all the way. <laughs> Was I meant to do that? Probably not. I got it back in. It goes in and out pretty easily. But how wide do you want to go? I, th I would say so that, that I'm going to say the maximum is when that lines up, which is about as far as you want to go. If you go further than that, you've got no strength on each other. It's going to, this is going to come out. So looking at that, half inch. Wow. Bigger than I thought. So the width here is half inch. Not bad. Uh, the pliers... Seven eighths, a little bit bigger than this gets to be. So, you know, hey, not bad. It's, you know, you got to remember it is a multi tool. It is designed to go in a pocket. You want to keep it as small as possible. So that's going to limit your uh, size of the tools that you're using. There. You've got your screws, your wrench. Uh, not sure. I keep saying this is the adjustable wrench. It's not. This is your pliers and then your adjustable wrench and then the places to put your uh, multiple heads. Now, the nice thing about that is I'm pretty sure this is a standard size here for any head that you have. So you could, you know, if you have different heads that you use, you could probably put your three most common ones in there. Although I think their choices that they gave you are pretty good. I mean, you get those multi-tools that give you a separate little uh, plastic insert that you can put all your different heads in and that. I have one of those and I've never really used them. I find I use the same ones anyway. So this would probably work. Oh, how thick is it? Uh, widest point, just under half an inch. That piece there, just under half an inch. It's got all this stuff on it, which is like jimping. Uh, this is jimping here, so... I suspect that that may have something to do with... Nope, doesn't. Doesn't have anything to do with the knife. But it gives you... Oh, look at that. See that blade? You gotta be careful with that. The blade sticks up, not down. Which I can see why. That's the way you hold it. So I was right. I did. <laughs> this really works out well. I like the feel of that. So there you have it. Like I said, American Buffalo knife and tool, uh, what they call the Cattleman's Cutlery Ranch Hand Multi Tools. The Cattleman's Cutlery. I could see it would work for that. It does have that thumb stud on there. I don't know if you, yeah, you could, you, you can get it out there. Ooh, yeah. Good idea. Another great design. I mean, you know, you look at this and the thought that went into this was a good idea. They just, we're a little short in things, you know, the, the screwdriver and that. I think I would have come up with something a little bit different on that. But it is small. I like this. This, I think I could use at work. How many things can you clip to your pocket, though? <laughs> That's why I'm thinking the pouch. How much did I pay for this thing? Wasn't cheap. 35 bucks. But it's stainless, so it's not really going to rust. I'm, I'm sure you'll get rust on it. Eventually, if you don't, you know, you should maintain it, keep it clean and that. 35 bucks. Kind of pricey, but hey, it's multi-tool. You're getting a couple of tools in one, you know, jack of all trades, <laughs> master of none. Although I think they've done a good job with 
the, the you know the 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 pliers and the adjustable wrench. I think that's a great idea. I think it worked out well. I'm just playing right now, and that comes open. And like I said, that handle is spring assisted, so there you have it. There, you get back so you can see it. That. Cool design. I like the idea. I think they did a, a good job on the idea. Don't see any really major problems with it, with what they've put on it. Don't forget now. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again. And yes, this is a sharp and shiny. Has a knife blade on it. Could have a look at some other multi-tools and then... Once I find a couple of different ones, let's have a look at all these different weird things that I've got and, and look at maybe a traditional one. I've done that before. I'll pull one of them out and we can have a look at the different ones that are available. And remember, sharp and shinies, be careful. Thanks for watching. And I'm pretty sure I'll see you again soon. Take care now.